Yo guys, this is Arcade and today we are gonna make lo-fi hip-hop for studying. Also, we are gonna do all of that with FL Studio stock plugins. In fact, I think I'm gonna be using Flex only because they have this new chill lo-fi pack. So let's get started. Also, this video is brought to you by Skillshare. More on that later. Let's start with the drums. So I'm using this chill lo-fi pack from Flex and I chose this lo-fi drum kit. So you have several drum kits in this preset. And I chose to use this one. I like that the most. So here is my drum pattern. It's really simple. We have the kick here, the snare here, and then some shakers. It sounds like this. One thing to keep in mind is I enable the swing right here, because without it, it sounds like this. Everything is really robotic, right on the grid, but with the swing, it's more loose, sounds way better in lo-fi. Also for the shakers, you can see some of them are lower velocity, and we switch in between different velocity here as well. And the rhythm is simple, we have a shaker here, and then one right before the snare, like so. Really simple drum beat, but it works really well in lo-fi. Also, I removed the kick and pretty much cloned the Flex plugin. And in the clone, I put the kick separately, so I can edit it separately as well. So you can also adjust the drums right here. And I also enabled the reverb for the shakers and the snare. Of course, no reverb for the kick. So once we have the drums, we can put them in. And now let's move on to the chords. So this is the exciting part. And this chord progression may seem a bit daunting with the melody as well, but it's actually really simple. So first of all, the sound I'm using is this M Sonic piano, again from this pack. So really nice lo-fi piano, and I adjusted it a little bit here. So now as far as the chords go, I'm using simple minor and major seventh chords. And how to set them up? Just go over here in piano roll and right click on only one. So you can do multiple chords at once and then choose your chord like major seventh. And then you just put it on a key of your choice. I chose D. And as you can see, it creates the major seventh chord. Simple as that. Now, as you can see, over here, it doesn't work because this is actually the minor seventh. So go back, go to minor seventh, and you can see it creates the shape of minor seventh chord. Now, when to use the major and when to use the minor, I'm not really sure. I don't know music theory in this way, but just try to use the major, then another major. And if it doesn't work, then change it to a minor. So those are the chords I went with. It's always good to use the major seventh and minor seventh chords for lo-fi. Creates this really nice jazzy feel. And here's my chord progression. And then we change it up to this. So yeah, one more thing you might notice is some of the chords are like strummed pretty much like this one. So what you can do sometimes is select your chord, go to strum, make sure to choose preserve end and choose your strum time. So this will create this effect that is played like this. You know, so that's what I did three of the times to make this piano seem more realistic. Now, as far as the melody goes for the piano, we have it here. And it's a pretty simple melody, but has some cool variations. At the start, we just have one note. And once again, I'm putting some of the notes off the grid. So just hold the old key and move it around to make it feel more realistic and a bit loose. So you can see it here as well. It would be like this quantized. But it's way better like this. Just creates this nice realistic feel. And then we have this. Once again, using the strumming effect here to create this roll. Now, when it comes to the notes you can use while making the melody, if you don't know what notes to use, I just did this by ear, but if you don't know how to do it, then just use the notes from the chords. So you can definitely use all of these notes from the chords. They are going to fit well within the melody as well. If you are not sure, just stick to the notes from the chords to make a simple but effective melody. And that's our piano with the melody. So all together, it sounds like this.
Also, I didn't mention it before, but the BPM is at 80. So, so far this is great, but if you want to learn more about music theory or music production in general, then check out our sponsor today, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is a platform where you can learn a variety of new skills, including your favorite music production. There is tons of classes on music production that teach you everything in detail, and these are not like short YouTube videos. These can take up a few hours of your time, but they do teach you a lot more. So if you are really interested in improving your music production skills, this would be a great place to start. There are some excellent music classes right on the main page, but if you want something more specific, you can also search for it. So we can do FL Studio and have tons of classes on how to use FL Studio. Right now, I would recommend this class, Make Your First Beat Today in FL Studio by Sabello September. This is a great class that explains everything from start to finish on how to make your first song. And he does talk about music theory and writing melodies and chords a lot, so that can be helpful for any music producer out there. That being said, if you want to get access to this class or any other class on Skillshare, then the first thousand people who click the link below in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. And I think you can learn a lot in one month. So check it out, link is below. Now let's get back to the video. Now the next sound we want to add is the bass. But before that, I'm going to show you a few effects that you can add to get this lo-fi track to the next level. So the first effect is the vinyl sound. Turn up the volume so you can hear it. It's just a simple vinyl sound to make this seem like an old school recording from a vinyl. So I'm just going to add that in very lightly. You can barely hear it. But I also added this ambience effect, this bird in the park with some wind, which also just adds a lot of ambience and creates this chill feel in the song. So now let's move on to the bass, which is really important. So I'm using this lo-fi sub bass in very low octaves. And as you can see, I have some slides in here. So to make the bass notes, simply copy the root notes of your chords. The rhythm is really simple, just a one note. Like that. But as you can see, we also have some slides. So here is how it sounds. To make the slides, if you are using an FL Studio Stock plugin, you can just select this button right here and put a note somewhere where you want a slide to happen. So like this will go up and then down because we have a slide here as well. So what I did is have these downward slides. So the bass sort of pitches down as it exits. And what you want to do, preferably, the easiest way to do it is to go octave lower. So if you have a D2 note, just put a slide on D1. That way the pitch will be correct. Also the bass is sign chained. So every time the kick hits, the volume of the bass is lowered. I did it with crude delimiter. You can actually see it here. So yeah, the bass sounds great in the song. So one more sound I added is this crash from my sample pack. Every fourth repetition, there is this crash. But next, I actually added some more melody and arpeggio, which is not so usual in lo-fi, but it really fit in this track. So I have this sound, Icicle Song, and I just put the same chords as my original chords in there, you know, just the chords with no melody. So the chord sounds like this. Really cool even by itself, but I actually enable the arpeggio. So just go to the sound, click on this button here and I enable the arpeggio by clicking this upward arpeggio mode. And then we have this. It almost creates this melody. It's like a really simple way to create a melody without creating a melody. And of course, when the arpeggio starts, I turn off the melody from the chords. So now we only have the chords by themselves. So they don't overlap too much. That way we can have the arpeggio and the chords playing together. That being said, I also added this melody, again from the chill lo-fi pack called Ghost Guitar. And it's such a great sound. So I created this simple melody, almost like an arpeggio. Yeah. 
again going up, 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 and then down. And here's how it sounds in the whole song. With the arpeggio in the background. And the slides just filling everything up. Yeah, sounds great. So that's the second part of this lo-fi track, but we actually have the third part, which is probably my favorite. And here's how I did that. So I actually added some vocal shots, again, from my sample back staple sounds. So it's already like a reverby vocal shot. And then I put some effects on them. So we have some compression, distractor, to filter them down and have this speaker effect so it's sort of like through a phone or something like that and low pass filter so they are in the background then some eq and then some more reverb it sounds like this so it creates this really strange feeling sort of mysterious in a way i really love that and i support the vocal with this fluffy flute creates a really nice atmosphere with the vocal so I pretty much follow the notes of the vocal but create a little simple filler melody in between so with the vocal it sounds like this So they sort of complement each other and I also added some more shakers some extra shakers from my pack and also pan them to the right and left. So we have more of a stereo feel. And that pretty much concludes the whole song. One more thing I wanna show you is this effect where we sort of low pass the whole song. You can hear that a lot in a lot of lo-fi tracks. So yeah, really simple effect. Just go to master channel, put EQ on there and create sort of this shape and make sure to also automate the wet dry knob, which is this one. So you want to sort of turn off the EQ throughout the whole song like I have here. So it's turned off throughout the whole song. So no effect is applied. You know, everything is playing normally, but then when you want to have the part where it's low pass, just turn it on, like automate the mix level, just right click, create automation clip and just put it up. And then at the end, put it back down. So it's no longer applied again. And then I also automated this, you know, so it's this knob right here, just right click, create automation clip. So it sort of opens up as we go. And you can have this nice effect okay and that is the whole song now let me show you the finished result also for the mastering i just boosted the high frequencies and lowered some of the low frequencies just to adjust it to my liking and that's about it now let's have a listen to the finished result enjoy
And that is pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out Skillshare. Link is below. Also, check out my sample packs. Link is also below. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.